Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I got this look here. I'm actually using the new Huda Beauty palette, the um, Desert Dusk one. So these are the pretty colours here. Um, I heard a lot of controversy about these so I was very hesitant on buying it but I'm actually really glad I did because the colours that I did use were actually really nice. I didn't use all of them so I don't know how the other ones went. But I guess that's for another video. Um, I'm going to stop rambling and let's get on with the video. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be starting off with my eyes. So I'll zoom you up a little bit. Just done my first workout at, in, at the gym in like forever. So um, I'm a little bit shaky. Um, all red and yeah I just wanted to film because I have no babies here at the moment so no one's going to disrupt me and it was the only time that I could do it without getting disrupted so here we are so I'm just using um, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot like always I use it every time to prime my eyes I just love it it just doesn't crease and yeah so that's why I'm using it. And we're going to set that with what color is in this palette? All right. I'm going to set that with the color Desert Sand, which is this light color here. I'm just taking the E27 brush. All right, so I don't know if you can see or not, but me getting into that, it does have a little bit of fallout. I honestly don't mind a little bit of fallout. Uh, at least I know that it's actually grabbing the product. Just I guess I just got to kind of be a little bit more gentle, not as rough. But I don't mind that. It's not a big deal to me. Um, I'm going to grab Eden, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use this as a transition color. So it's really, really pretty, like light semi peachy color which is really actually really pretty so I'm just going to blend this probably just going to keep it to the outer edge of um, my eye and in the transition like in my crease up above my crease and just blending that all in so I don't even know what brush this is this is a Sigma I want to say E25 brush and I'm going to go into Amber, which is the one next to Eden. And I'm going to keep that in my outer corner and into my crease a little bit. I'm not going too far up. Taking a little bit more of that Amber. Alright, so I'm going to blend out the edges a little bit. So taking the E27 brush again from Morphe and just blending up the top. I didn't put any other shadow on it. Still just, I guess, got the remedies of Eden. But that's it. Alright, so I want to darken that inner corner just a little bit more. So I'm going to take Oud, Oud, Oud. Oud, Oud, whatever it's called, this dark one in the corner here. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. I'm I have to say, I honestly don't care that there's a black here because I hardly go into the black unless like I want to define the eye a little bit like underneath or something. But I'm really, really glad that there's a dark brown because some palettes just don't come with a dark enough brown, but this actually looks really nice. Well, I like it anyway. So I'm really happy that it comes with a dark brown. I don't need a black. I don't use black much. And if I want to do like a black smoky eye on a client, I've got other palettes. Like I don't need to use this one. I guess this one can be like my own personal use. Cost an arm and a leg, so don't know if I'd want to use it on everyone anyway. Alright, so I'm just patting that into 
the outer corner a bit. I'm going to take the E27 and I'm just going to diffuse the edges a bit. I don't want to take it into the crease. That's why I'm not using this brush. I'm going to actually take the color Blood Moon, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to take the Morphe E10. It's just like a flat synthetic brush. I'm going to spray, if I can, spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm going to put that in the middle of my eye, just keeping it to the middle part. Then I'm going to take the colour Angelic, which is this pink one here, the pretty pink. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to put that in the inner corner and kind of swipe it over Blood Moon a bit, blending the two together. Now taking this E25 and again just putting it on the outside. I'm not putting any more product in on it I just want to blend actually I might put a little bit more of that OUD color on the outside in the outer corner a bit so I'm gonna go back in a little bit more with angelic on a brush this time this is the M204 and spraying some fix plus I don't mind that I have to like spray fix plus on like shimmers and stuff because it's just a habit anyway so it's not like a big deal to me I like to get the most intensity out of a shadow and I just feel like fix plus just makes it better in so many ways so that's what I do I'm just going to use the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner to do a wing. I don't know how good this is going to go, but let's... Alright, that's, that's good enough. So, got little wings. Now I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes. I'm going to do my brows now. Let me just do them and I'll be back. Okay, so for primer, I am using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it because I can on my own face. Okay. And I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I've got the color 290 because um, a lot of people online have said that 290 um, match them pretty good with a fake tan. And as you can see, I have a fake tan on, so um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's a, a good colour. See, that's a good colour now. Still got to dry down. I'm hoping by the time it does dry down that it's actually, um, won't be much different because, yeah. It's a good color now. So for concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna use a light neutral. And I'm just gonna blend it in with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna get some RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm going to bake underneath that just to set that in so it doesn't crease 
I'm just going to put that concealer on and blending it in with my beauty blender once again. All right, so I'm going to highlight just down the bridge of my nose a little bit and on my forehead. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the cap. And I'm taking the Sigma Large Powder Brush, blah, 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 blah. Sigma Large Powder F20 brush, and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with that and wiping away that bake while I'm setting it. All right, so underneath my eyes, I'm going to take that color Eden here and I'm going to, oh, with an elf brush and I'm just going to do a wash of that color all the way underneath my eye. And then taking amber, and just probably keeping that to two out of two thirds of my eye. Just gonna take this thinner short shader brush and taking the color Oud and putting that on the outer corner a bit. I'm gonna put some liner in my waterline using the Essence one. And using that thinner black um, thing, I'm taking out and I'm going to smudge that. I'm gonna put some of that liner as well on my upper waterline. So I've just realized that um, I didn't have my microphone on. So I'm sorry if you couldn't hear all that. I'm just using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher mascara, which is this one, just to coat my lashes. Okay, to lashes for lashes today, I'm just going to reuse some of my lashes I've already used and I'm going to use the Duo Lash Glue from MAC. For bronzer, I'm going to use MAC Give Me Sun. And I'm just going to put that on my forehead and on my cheekbones a little bit. And for blush, what color are we gonna go for? I'm gonna use this color down here, it's called Ironic. We're just gonna stick with the Becca Champagne Pop. Can't go wrong with champagne pop. All right, I'm just gonna put dab a little bit on. Oh, that's a lot of bit. Anyway, on my brow bones. For lips, I'm going to go with the Steel Art Sale Day Lipstick in Caramello. And I'm gonna go over it with the Essence Wet Look Lip Gloss in Happiness in a Bottle. Going to spray my face. I'm going to use the Skindinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This is the bridal one. And we're done. So 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!